Howdy, y'all. Thank you for joining us today for this unboxing of Athenaeum Mystic Library. It is a card drafting game for two to five players that takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play for ages 10 plus. Howdy, y'all. Thank you for joining us today for this unboxing of, a, I'm sure I'll butcher this name, Athenaeum Mystic Library. Kind of looks like a... Uh, a little bit like an Ex Libris type game. So it looks like we're going to be building a library, a tableau, which I'm really big on tableau builders here. And it looks like it's going to have a card drafting element to it. With a little bit of a Harry Potter feel, possibly. The magic exam is tomorrow, and you and your classmates are headed to the library to study with the knock of a magic wand on a precise stack of books. Ta-da! You can learn an entire subject in an instant. In exchange for this after hours intrusion, however, the security guard asks you to clean up and organize the library shelves. So roll up your sleeves and get to work. So I'm pretty much a fan of kind of these renegade games. So we'll see where these, how this one goes. This one is a demo game. It's what you're seeing this flapping plastic. So I got as a demo for our shelf for the store. So let's take a look inside. All right, little advertisement, Fox in the Forest, Succulent, oh, it's an inside one, Ex Libris, which is another one I just talked about, and Clank. All right, we got the rule book right off the bat. Usually the first thing you will see usually. Feels a little thick, but it looks like the wording's kind of big. Introduction, kind of the same thing as said on the back. Shows you the components. Game setup. Book subjects, goal of the game, game sequence. Looks like it's a turns stepped into four different steps. Playing cards, resolving the benefits from the cards, scoring the objectives, and then cleaning up. Tells you how to trigger the end of the game. So it looks like a pretty simple game. Study the cards. So then it looks like it goes to a description about the cards. Yep, and then a description about the objective cards. Book tokens. Spider tokens. And then bonus tokens, and then some clarifications. All right. Got some punch outs here. So this looks like the shelves are gonna be filling up with the books. Punch out pretty easily, it feels. Then we got all the different books, like this one. Well, let me see if I can do these, where you can kind of read over them. The Annoying Heroes, Big Bad Grandma, Don't Leave Me Yeti, Cracking Too Much, Many Lies of Dolos. Tons of different books there. Some spiders. Oh, looks like the uh, they are double-sided with different Titles. Oh no, it isn't. Cracking too much. Yeah, don't leave me yeti. Yep, so it's the same same title on both sides. Looks like a chest or something that will be built to hold something. Or maybe some be kind of cool if they hold components and stuff like that. I'm cool with that. So these must be the player boards, I'm assuming. And we got some more titles here. Apparently I opened this thing upside down. Another Thursday with Thor. Another favorite I already see, I like. And like I said, they're double-sided. And some more, even more books. Finding Your Inner Human. All right. And even more books. The Abyss, A Travel Guide. The Dungeon Critter Cookbook. Quantum Metaphysics. 
and then even more books. Astral travel for armadillos. The music business for sirens. Stomping basics for Jotun. Then we have some, I guess these are the special tokens they talked about or they said. Probably use powers. And then we have some books that are stuck together like Medusa Detective, Stone Cold. Voices of Sirens. All right. Then we go to the board. It looks pretty simple. Got a track for scoring points. And then some spots for cards. A bag. Seems like a it's not felt, it's kind of like a cloth, just a one layer, but it is a cloth bag. Some nice pull strings to it. Ah, we got some wooden components here, look like little wands, which you kind of saw in the back, along with some workers, or a worker, maybe that's each uh, player, looks like a fairy or something. Yep, I mean, it goes with a color, so I'm assuming that's the players in some way. All right, we got some cards here, some baggies, some more cards. And as I always suggest, you should always look under the insert just to make sure there's not something else. But it is a nicely looking designed insert. Hopefully, do not have to get rid of it in order to store the game. All right, let's take a look at the cards. All right, zoomed in here so we can get a better look at these cards, get a closer look. First off, right off the bat, these do look like they are standard, which means you're gonna be looking for 80, 88 by 63, or just look for something that says standard, which is gonna be your standard magic slash Pokemon size cards. It does say you need 95 sleeves. I prefer these Dragon Shield non-glare clear mats. This is what I typically use on standard, or you can find pretty much any standard card sleeves at your local game store. So I would say check that out for sure. It says 95, so especially if you go through a set of these Dragon Shields, you're looking at just one box that says 100 per box, but yep. All right, so we got two types of cards here. I'm not sure which ones the differences are. Some say they're objective cards, some say they are study cards i'm assuming these are the study cards because it looks like there's double that and then the objectives look like about what they said so we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the objective cards first might help i use the right spot to open it from all right so the back of the cards you can see Nice artwork, and then I guess these are the objectives. Don't really know kind of what they mean. Probably, I'm assuming just by looking at it, these are the points that you would get. And then you have to have a certain book layout, I'm assuming. And this looks like maybe on certain sections of the shelves. But looks pretty, yeah, and then you get more points depending on how selective it is it looks like, so. I can see this is kind of one of those polyomino s games that they always talk about. And then we got sections A and B here. Of course, I'm going out, going backwards, but this is B. I guess just because I opened this doesn't mean we need to go to it next. We'll start with A. I'm assuming this has to do with the drafting because they're already showing a direction and it did say it was a drafting game. But if you look on the back of the cards, like it's showing A here and it's showing pass basically to the left and then it's showing B here, pass to the right. And that's all I'm seeing is A's and B's. So I'm assuming that's what these are for. 
I'm assuming the drafting is letting you know which type of book you can get. So this should just be, oh, some of these look like they might even just give you victory points for drafting it. So it looks like you at least get some options, which could be pretty cool. Definitely interested in trying out another drafting game, for sure. Then we got B here. And like I said, I'm just showing you some of these selections here. I will talk a lot more about the cards, but we're going to have to get this to the table before I can know exactly. I mean, most of it looks pretty self-explanatory, but I'm sure a lot of this got to know how to play the game. Now I did notice, and that might have been with my finger. It's reason I always try to do some other way to open instead of the way they show, but oh well. All right, well, so that's Athenium Mastic, Mystic Library. Athenium Mystic Library. We're going to get to the table, try it out. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.